So believe it or not, there are still so many complaints of the iPhone 12's battery health that are still happening even up until this day. So the iPhone 12 was an iPhone that came out back in 2020. I'm going to say that again. The iPhone 12 came out in 2020 and people from 2020, basically 2020, 2021 and 2022 have all still been complaining about the battery life and their battery health of their iPhone 12s basically going down and degrading at a much faster rate than they probably should have. Now, this is the most interesting thing of this it's mostly because Apple is still not only selling the iPhone 12s in the brand new market, but they are also selling the iPhone 12 Pros in the certified refurbished market. Now, when you have an iPhone like an iPhone 12, this is honestly still a decent iPhone. I'm actually really happy with the way these iPhones have held up throughout the last couple of years. Although the battery you know, life in terms of battery size has gone down, the battery life is still actually pretty good on these devices. But something that just keeps clawing in the back of my head is that if these iPhones actually ended up having you know the actual battery size and these batteries didn't degrade so fast these iphones would have been at a much higher caliber in my opinion of being able to handle basically you know a longer battery life because the battery is not degrading as fast so with an iphone 12 this is an iphone that is still decent it's still 600 dollars and apple's still selling it at that price but people are still experiencing a lot of battery degradation going on with this iPhone. I have not experienced this type of or this level of battery degradation on any iPhone before or any iPhone after the iPhone 12 series. So it is a particular issue I, I think with the iPhone 12s in particular. So I do think Apple should still to this day in 2023 midway through this year. Apple should go ahead and have some sort of service repair program or something along those lines for us to go ahead and basically fix these types of issues. Like I mentioned, this is, I think, a bigger issue than a lot of people probably assume. And it is very, very weird that Apple still hasn't addressed this or have, you know, issued out some sort of service repair program because it seems to me that every single iPhone 12 has had this issue, the 12 mini, the 12, the 12 Pro, and the 12 Pro Max. Now, every iPhone will experience battery degradation over time. Personally, I've been using my iPhone 13 Pro for about a year and a half, almost two years now. And within this iPhone, I mean, I'm already about like 95%. My iPhone 12 Pro is at like 90% at this time or even less than that, which is crazy. And I use that iPhone for way less time than I use my 13 Pro. So I will definitely tell you, I think Apple needs to go ahead and fix these issues. And it's been how many years now? Three years almost. And the iPhone 12 is still having these types of issues. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.